Hi guys, you're back with Juzzy Evo X and today we're looking at a nice new install mod for the Evo X. It's from our friends at Club Spec Custom Design and it's their custom dipstick stopper. So if you are uh, wanting to do some further appearance mods for your engine bay, you wanted to have something different from everyone else and you're wanting to support the guys that are supporting the Evo X community, then here's another great part for you. Just wanted to make mention that this is a sponsored install for my car. Um, these guys have supported me because I've supported them. So as you know, if you've been following my YouTube channel and my Instagram, you'll see that I've got the club spec dipstick handle, which simply replaces the stock one um, I've got the hood strut bases, so they're on either side. I've also got their rain guards, which can be used with the factory vents. And I've got their hood vents. Nice honeycomb structure, excellent quality, perfect fitting. You couldn't have asked for more. So you might be asking, what's the purpose of actually having this dipstick stopper? So for those guys who are having large crankcase pressure and they're finding that their dipstick is popping out because they're either running big boost or uh, they are not running a catch can, um, this is a solution for you. What this does is it uh, bolts on. Um, to the, the tube that the dipstick uh, goes down into and uh, it enables you to um, have it tightened down under under gentle load, not um, ridiculous load so it breaks, but it's there so that your dipstick doesn't pop up um, and out and then you get oil squirting over your engine bay, which you don't want so that there's uh, no risk of fire. So. I'm going to open it up now and let's have a look what's inside the package.
decent. Um, nothing overly complicated to it at all. Simply just put those two Allen key bolts in. Um, I just uh, tightened it up majority of it to the side so that I could get some leverage here on the side. And then I turned it back to the front and I just used a 90 degree Allen key to tighten it up here on the front. You don't want to over tighten it because as I said, this part here is like a plastic nylon. So what will eventually happen is you'll get to the end of the thread and if you keep tightening, you're actually going to de-thread it. So don't do it overly tight. It's not meant to be overly tight and it doesn't need to be to hold the pressure of the dipstick down, you know, whilst, whilst the car, the engine's under boost. So as you can see, there's not much tension here, right? So I've, I've literally only got it a couple of millimetres beneath where the top um, ring would be. So as you can see, that's all I'm lifting it, just that little bit there. And that's enough. So as you can imagine, it's hard to come out anyway because of the dual O-rings that um, uh, Club Spec uh, Custom Designs uses on their dipsticks. So that's a good measure anyway. But this is just the icing on the cake. So this... Uh, obviously, if you're running huge boost, then maybe you will be able to pop out the dipstick, but well, I think it's pretty unlikely. But this is a good measure to keep it uh, in place as well. Extra insurance uh, for not a, a lot of money, and it certainly looks really good. The finish is great. It's got the logo there. If you don't like the logo, yes, you could peel that sticker off. This comes in a variety of colours, as does the actual dipstick handle itself. I've got another video on YouTube that shows you how to install this dipstick handle. So here's what it looks like. Um, don't worry about that. that. That is a part that comes from the Password JDM intake manifold cover. But if you're like me and you don't like this actual look of the intake manifold cover and you think that that's quite a bit unsightly, I think that certainly is compared to the rest of the bay, then you really do want to look at either painting your fuel rail or if you think you've got enough power, replace the fuel rail. But, you know, in Australia, for up to 300 kilowatts for a daily driver, you don't need to do that. I thought the most um, uh, best looking and efficient way for money and time spent was to simply buy a Password JDM carbon fibre intake manifold cover just like this. So, initially what I thought I could do was undo the... Um, top or even the bottom bolt um, that holds this spring in place but really all that's going to do is just enable you to put the cover on but then once the covers on you're not going to be able to easily get in there to retighten that bolt so if you're going to use an intake manifold cover like this the only way to actually make this work is to simply elongate this hole particularly on this back side so you just want to do a little bit at a time come back fit it in place, see if it goes over. Um, it at least um, needs to be, I would say, as wide as this top part here. And um, then you'd see how you go. So guys, here is how big the hole looks like um, standard on the password JDM carbon fiber intake manifold cover and I'm going to show a video shortly of just how much I've dribbled out to try and get it to fit. Alright guys so here I've got my Dremel plugged into the wall for those who've never actually used one before and just you know just uh, I appreciate that not everybody knows how to use all the tools that you might have in your garage so hopefully this is helpful if you've never used one before. Dremel is just a simple tool that you use, turn the power on like that and it rotates the shaft like this. Essentially it allows you to use an item like a drill. They come with all these attachments uh, that, that you can buy from your local hardware shop. Here is a sanding type one that you can use and I'm simply just going to place this in here, tighten that shaft down when I've finished stop recording this and then I'm simply just going to <coughs> ground this part of the hole a little bit back. I'm just only going to do a couple of mil at a time, then I'm going to try and fit it, and I'm just going to keep going until I've got it just right. Worst mistake you can make as a new person to, you know, cutting and, make, and, and making things fit is to go too far. When you go too far, you can't come back. So 
just do a little bit of time, have patience. If you don't have enough time to do it, just quit the job straight away and come back when you've got time. Hopefully it works out. All right guys, so I've just finished elongating the hole. As you can see, it was approximately the size of a 10 cent Australian coin previously. And now it's probably close to a uh, in between 20 and a 50 cent coin. So um, it does require a little bit of manipulation to get it on. I don't want to make the hole any larger than it requires to be. But as you can see, it needs to not only be slightly wider than um, the dipstick stopper. When you go to put this on, you can't just put it straight down because it hits here. So you've got to have enough to put it like this and to adjust the dipstick handle and then to slide it back um, this way and then go down. I'll take a video now of what it looks like completed. Okay guys, so here's the completed install of the Club Spec Custom Design Dipstick Stopper. As you can see, I've an elongated the hole just uh, probably to about a 50 cent coin size, Australian size. Um, it's, it's slightly wider than the width of the actual dipstick stopper, so that when you go and place the actual intake manifold cover on, you do have to turn it a bit to the side and then bring it back down. And so therefore, it needs to be a little bit wider. Looks pretty neat, fits awesome, great finish, another awesome pop product. Um, I've got enough room there to let go of a dipstick stopper so that the dipstick can come out. Really happy with it. Again, thanks very much to Club Spec Custom Design. I'll have the details for them up on the screen in just a minute. Hope you've enjoyed that. See you next time. So thanks for watching the video today, guys. I just wanted to give a shout out to the guys again at Club Spec Chicago and you can check them out online on Instagram at clubspec.chicago, Facebook Club Spec Custom Designs Chi Town or you can email them at sales at clubspecchicago.com. If you've liked this video please like, comment and subscribe. Please tell all your mates, have a great one, we'll see you next time.